Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you doing? Good. Good. Alhamdulillah. So, inshallah, today our plan is to finish the obligatory acts, inshallah. After a long time, inshallah, okay? Okay. Okay, just quickly, I want to give you a review that these are the obligatory acts. If you miss any of these acts knowingly, then you have to repeat the prayer. If you miss any of these acts out of forgetfulness, but if you miss any of these that out of forgetfulness, then you have to do? Good job. Okay, just quickly opening takbir. Allahu Akbar. Then standing if you are able to. Then Surah Al-Fatiha. Then you have, before Surah Al-Fatiha, you also have to recite a surah. Even though I didn't write here, but you have to recite. Is it clear? Okay. Um, how long the surah will be? Uh, if it's a small surah, then it's fine. If it's big surah, this should say at least three ayahs. This should say three ayahs, that will be sufficient, okay? If it's a big ayah like ayah to kursi, that's fine. The one ayah is enough, okay? I'll go chuti chuti ayah. If it's a small ayah, then it's fine. Then three ayah. Then three ayah is enough, okay? Then ruku. Ruku. Then you have to rise from the ruku. You cannot go from ruku to sujda directly. Rise from the ruku and then stand straight. Then okay? Yes, and then sajda, two sujood, two sujood you have to do, it's an obligatory act. If you do one sajda then, your prayer is not? accepted. Sitting between sujood, even that is obligatory act. Sitting between? Sujood. Sitting in tashahu. Then after the two raka, you will re just do the sequence again. After you are done with the second raka, you will going to sit in tashahu. Is it clear? Yeah. And you do this again. Wait, sitting in Tashahud, what you were going to read? You were going to read Tashahud. And you will do all these things in tranquility. Just remember this. Tranquility, tranquility means uh, with peace, with sukoon. No, in, not in rush. Is it clear, Fatima? Not like this. No, you are not doing any exercise or yoga. What you are doing, you are basically praying to Allah. Okay? Yeah. You have to be very peaceful. You don't have to rush. Is it clear, Ibad? Yes. And when you are praying and no one is looking at you, no one is in the room, door is locked, you have put curtains on the window, but who is looking at you at that time? Allah. Yes. Even though you cannot see anyone in the room, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always looking at you. Is it clear? Yeah. So do not rush. Hmm? But you know what? You have to believe that Allah is always with me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always protect me. No one can harm me if He is there to protect me, right? Yes. And Allah loves us more than our mom, right? Yes. Yeah. So just put your trust in Allah and you will never uh, feel that what you're talking about, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, sending salawat on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay. Have you also read what to read in Tashahud? At Tahiyatul Yarhamakilla. At Tahiyatul Ilahi was salawat wa tayyibat wa salamu alayka. Ayyuhan Nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatu wa salamu alayna wa ala ibadullahi. Sa alihin. Ashadu wa la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. Okay. After reading this, we have to read Salawat of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I wrote this as an obligatory act. Some scholars say this is not obligatory, this is recommended. We will take this as an obligatory. Is it clear, Hibban? Yeah. Okay. Abba? Yeah, Fatima? Uh, is this the act, Allahumma Salli Ala Muhammad? Yes. Allahumma Salli Ala Muhammad. Hibban, can you recite the Durood for me? In Arabic or in Durood? Yeah. The Salawat means the Salawat. Allahumma? 
Good job. Can you continue? Good job, Iban. Okay, there is a small mistake in both of you what you recited, but the overall thing is fine, Alhamdulillah. Give me Hazar. Okay, read with me. With me. Allahumma. Allahumma. Salli ala. Salli ala. Muhammadin. Muhammadin. Wa ala. Wa ala. Ali Muhammad. Ali Muhammad. Kama sallayta. Kama sallayta. Ala Ibrahima. Ala Ibrahima. Wa ala Ali Ibrahima. Wa ala Ali Ibrahima. Innaka hamidun majid. اللهم بارك على محمد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد. إنك حميد مجيد. Good job. What's the translation now? Let's start. When we say اللهم صل على محمد. اللهم صل على محمد. It means O Allah, send prayers upon Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. And we say Muhammad. What do you have to say? Good job. So when he said, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad, Iban, what does it mean? Oh Allah, send prayers upon Muhammad, wa ala Ali Muhammad, and his family, and the family of Muhammad. So basically you are asking Allah to send prayers and mercy, not only on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but even on his family. Who is his family? Ali, his mother, Ali. Basically, all his followers are his family. So it means we are also his family. So when we are asking, send prayers and mercy on Prophet Muhammad and his family, it means we are asking, we are part of his family, so even send prayers and mercy on us also. Is it clear? Okay. Kama salayta. Just as you have sent prayers. Kama salayta. Just kept. Kama salayta. Just. As you have sent prayers, ala Ibrahim on Ibrahim, and ala Ali Ibrahim upon his family. So basically, Ibrahim came before Prophet Muhammad or after Prophet Muhammad Fatima? Before. Before. So we are asking Allah that Allah, just like you send mercy on the Prophet Ibrahim and his family, like Ismail, Ishaq, and their entire family, similarly. Have mercy on Prophet Muhammad and his family. That's that's the dua. Is it clear? Just like just like if um, if you will if you will ask the dua Fatima about your grandfather, that oh Allah, just like you had mercy on my grandfather, had mercy have mercy on my father also. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Now let's move on. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad. Actually, before Inna ka Hamidu Majid, I'm sorry. Inna ka Hamidu Majid, indeed you are Hamid, praiseworthy, and Majid, glorious. Remember this. Hamid means praiseworthy. The one who is deserving of all the praise. And Majid, glory. You know when we say glorify, glory be to Allah, that's the entire idea. Okay. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad. Oh Allah, bless Muhammad. Allahumma barik ala. Muhammad, Allah bless Muhammad. Wa ala Ali Muhammad and the family of Muhammad. And the family of? Muhammad. Kama barakta ala Ibrahim just as you have blessed Ibrahim. Wa ala Ali Ibrahim and the family of Ibrahim. So basically first we ask mercy and prayers. Second we ask blessings. Now we are asking Allah bless the family of Muhammad and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Just like you blessed Ibrahim and Islam and his family. Is it clear? Yeah. yeah. Verily you are praiseworthy and glorious. We have to recite this when? We, when we are in the when fourth rakah. Or third rakah. Good job. Okay. Or basically in tashahud, right? Yeah. Third or fourth. tell me one more thing. Apart from salah, when you have to recite this? In Isha for, in the uh -huh, Apart from salah. Apart from prayer. What? Apart from prayer. 
When you have to recite this. Correct. Fatima. Uh, in the in sunnah. Apart from prayer, sunnah is prayer, right? Yeah. Apart from obligatory and sunnah prayer. Okay, every Friday make this a habit. Oh. Because you will get huge reward if you will recite Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad every Friday. Because Prophet Muhammad told us to do this, okay? Good job. Yeah, I see And if you were going to recite this uh, salawat of Prophet Muhammad sallam, Allah will going to give you a reward, 10 reward. Is it clear? 10? Yes. Is it a thumb? Hmm? Is it a Absolutely 10 reward. Okay. So basically we are done with Tashahud. So in Tashahud first, Hibban, can you answer my question? What? If you are sitting in Tashahud, what do you have to read first? Good job. Then then what do you have to read? Uh-huh. Then you have to read? Allahumma salli. Good job. Then Allahumma barik. Good job. Then basically sending salawat and prophet is done, right? Yeah. Now you'll come to salam. But before salam, you can ask one dua, whatever you like. Wait, 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 wait. You can ask one dua, whatever you want, whatever you like. There are few duas mentioned in the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Do you know that? Yeah. yeah. We will cover that in the recommendation. Okay. Yeah. What did you recommend? Ah, next time, inshallah. What so you cover you that. You'll cover that that dua which you have to recite this sal or after salawat of Prophet and before salam. We are going to cover. That dua which you have to recite after salawat of Prophet and before salah when you recover the recommended acts. Is it clear, Hibani yes. Fatima? Yeah. Okay. Now comes to salah. Now comes to salah. Can I show? No. Okay. What do you have to say when you have to say salah? You're saying salam to angels. Good job. Angels. And you're saying salam to? Uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Prophet Muhammad. Allah. You are saying salam to angels. You are saying salam if anyone is praying with you, you are saying salam to them. If you are saying salam to the Muslim community who is praying with you in Jama, is it clear? Yeah. So when do you have to say salam on the right side first or on the left side? Right. Good job. Okay. Do you have to say salamu alaikum only or do you have to say salamu alaikum wa rahmatullah? Okay. So it will stop, it will look at me. After At-Tahiyyat, after Allahumma Salli Ala, after that dua which we will learn, then I can say, Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullah. Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullah. Is it clear? Yeah. Can you do this, Hippan and Fatima? Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullah. Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullah. Good job. What does it mean, Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullah, Fatima? Uh, um, as you say, Assalamu Alaikum, it means Assalamu Alaikum, uh, may peace be upon you. Good job. May so, be upon so, so may peace be upon you. You are saying when you are, you and Heban are praying, we, our family, are, are praying together. So Fatima is saying Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullah, right? Yes. yes. What does it mean? May peace be upon you. Peace and mercy, rahmatullah, peace and mercy. Upon you. Upon? Is it clear? May peace and mercy upon be upon you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Do you know what does it mean, Fatima? Yeah. Do you know what does it mean, Hiban? Yeah. So when Hiban and Fatima, yeah. if you are, let's say, God forbid, fighting before prayer, and you have to pray, when you are saying, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, may peace and mercy be upon you, it means you are forgiving the other person. Because you are sending mercy on that person. Mercy comes from forgiveness. You are sending peace that I don't want any fight anymore. Peace, peace, mercy, mercy. Yeah. Because peace comes when you don't fight. So you are saying, I'm forgiving you. I'm forgiving you. When you say, Salaamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullah, that's what it means. Is it clear, Ibn and Fatima? Yeah, yeah. So basically, you end your prayer by forgiving everyone. Is it clear? Yeah. Good job. Good job. I one no, one thing is that the sequence of all these actions yeah, means if you say salam before sitting in tashahud, before ruku, your prayer is not valid, right? Yeah. So
So you have to follow this sequence. You cannot make sajda before ruku. The sequence have to be important. Is it clear? Yeah. And then once you follow the sequence, then your prayer will be accepted. Alhamdulillah. Give me half five first. Give me half five. First step in Namaz ke baad mein batao. Let me tell you first step in. Yeah. Chocolate time. Okay. No. Wait, 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 wait. Next time we are going to discuss. Or, or if you want, we can do such a sound right now. What do you think? What do you think? Now. Now. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's say if you missed any of these actions, then what do you have to do? Do such a Do such a If you prayed instead of four, you prayed five rakah. If you prayed instead of four, three rakah, and you are sitting in a tahiyat, a tahiyatul Oh man, I did not. Pray four rakah. I pray three rakah. I pray five rakah. What should I do? Yes. If you have, if you know for sure you missed one rakah, you prayed an additional rakah. What do you have to do? Okay. You have to do sajda sahab. What? Sajda sahab. Sahab means out of forgetfulness. Is it clear? Actually, this word is used in the Quran. But come, come here. Okay. Good job. Sahum comes from Sahua, right? Basically, when you will get distracted, forgetfulness, when thought will come in your mind, when you are praying and all of a sudden cartoon will come in your mind uh, or anything comes and then you miss, mess it up with Salah, pray less or pray more, then you have to perform two sajda at the end. How you, ha how you have to perform? Before, before, before Salah, you have to do two sajda. Before Salah, you have to make two sajda. Just like regular sajda. Just like regular okay. sajda, so you have to make one sajda, you have to sit, and then you have to make again the second sajda, yes. and then say salam. Is it clear? Yes. These two sajda will compensate the deficiency of whatever obligatory acts you have missed. Yes. If you prayed more, if you prayed less, inshallah it will be forgiven. Is it clear? Yes. So again, this final thing, perform two sajda if you miss any of these acts before saying salam. Is it clear? Yes. If, 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 yeah, uh, Fatima, tell me. Uh, if you if if it's longer than you pray four raka and you remember you pray four raka, what do we do if we pray more? Just do one sajda sahab before salam. One means one means two sajda uh, to compensate one extra raka. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Inshallah, let's let's finish this and inshallah tomorrow we're going to this start the uh, recommendations. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.